वेलकम टू आर कमेंट कोच इन दिस सेक्शन वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द फ्रक्टोज मेटाबॉलिज्म एंड एसोसिएटेड डिसऑर्डर्स विद फ्रक्टोज मेटाबॉलिज्म व्हाट आर द एंजाइम डेफिशिएंट इन द फ्रक्टोज मेटाबॉलिज्म इट लीड्स टू द डेवलपमेंट ऑफ द डिफरेंट डिजीजेस सो लेट्स स्टार्ट आवर डिस्कशन अबाउट द फ्रक्टोज मेटाबॉलिज्म फर्स्ट वी डिस्कस व्हाट आर द फ्रक्टेज मेटाबॉलिज्म इज हैपनिंग हाउ दे हैपन इट इज सिमिलर टू द ग्लाइकोलाइसिस बेसिकली एंड आफ्टर दैट वी सी what are the associated disorders a hereditary intolerance of the fructose we can see here the fructose metabolism the metabolism of fructose how the fructose is going to metabolized here the fructose is basically coming from the sucrose that is cane sugar they are converted into the glucose and fructose these are coming from the sucrose so this fructose are the compare sugar which is basically converting into the fructose one phosphate in the presence of one enzyme that is fructokinase and kinase you know the transfer of phosphate group next one we can see this fructose one phosphate is converted into glyceraldehyde and dihydroxyacetone phosphate similar to the glycolysis but in the rate limiting enzyme in the glycolysis is phosphofructokinase that is phosphofructokinase is absent here that phosphofructokinase in the rate level the rate rate, rate limiting enzymes in the glycolysis is that is pfk that is phosphofructokinase that enzyme is absent here that's why in this cycle there is a no rate limiting enzymes are present and that's why these cycles are very short we can say like this these are the six carbon this six carbon converted into three carbon three carbon after that we can see this dehydroxyacetone phosphate is converted into the similar compound that is glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate after that the several steps we are going to skip we discuss everything in glycolysis then they are converting into the pyruvate at the last similar to the fructose metabolism after that they are converted into acetyl coa from 3 carbon atom they converted into the 2 carbon compound and we can see these acetyl coa are enters into the either TCA cycle or the tricarboxylic acid cycle or the Krebs cycle and we can see there if the TCA cycle after that the body demands of ATP is very less the demand of body ATP is very less it means the body don't want more ATP and the body demand of ATP is very less after that this acetyl CoA is going to converted into the fatty acid synthesis they enters into the fatty acid synthesis cycle and they forming the TAG triacyl glycerol they forming the tri they forming the triacyl glycerol this triacyl glycerol are forming when there is a atp is not required more than sufficient in our body so these are synthesizers after that we can see what is the you can see the acute fructose loading is harmful to the body or toxic to the body when when the acute fructose is going to be harmful for the body it is basically what is happen in the case of acid synthesis that is triacyl glycerol the fatty acid synthesis it leads to the higher amount of triacyl glycerol is synthesized in our body it leads to hyperlipidemia hyperlipidemia means tag will be higher this tag will be higher hyperlipidemia and hyperuricemia hyperuricemia in the in the urea content in the blood will be higher and this urea contents will be leads to gout development of a gout disease that the uric acid crystals will be generated in our joints and these are very painful for us that's why the gout is development due to it so these are acute fructose loading is very harmful for us or the toxic now we are going to see what is the hereditary fructose intolerance disease hereditary fructose intolerance is very important disease in which the aldolase b enzyme is going to deficient you can see in this uh, fructose metabolism we can see we can see in this fructose metabolism there is a fructokinase will be the converting the fructose one phosphate into fructose into fructose one phosphate we can see this enzyme that is the aldolase b aldolase b is going to convert the fructose one phosphate into the dihydroxyacetone phosphate so this enzyme is going to deficient and leads to the development of hereditary fructose 
intolerance if there is a patient is having insufficient of enzyme fructokinase it will leads to a development of essential fructose urea it means there are two types of disease are associated with the fructose metabolism if there is a deficient of aldolase b enzyme it leads to the hereditary fructose intolerance and if there is a deficiency of fructose kinase enzyme it leads to the development of fructose urea now we are going to see one by one the first one hereditary fructose intolerance what happened in this case the aldolase b enzyme is going to deficient it means the fructose the amount of fructose 1 phosphate will be increased and this fructose 1 phosphate same as the galactose 1 phosphate they are the more toxic and these are going to inhibiting the glycogen phosphorylase enzyme once again so they are inhibiting glycogen phosphorylase enzyme once again and it leads to the decrease in glycogenolysis it means the glycogen breaking down will be decreased here once again it means the fasting hypoglycemia hypoglycemia means there is a lower amount of glycogenolysis means breakdown of glycogen means less production of glucose in the fasting state treatment leads to the hypoglycemia the low amount of glucose in the body and there is a once again we can see there is a hypoglycemia and you know why now we can see what are the clinical features of the hereditary intolerance of the fructose hereditary intolerance we can see it appears on the age intolerance we can see it appears on the age of onset on the approx 6 month of the age there is a, a during the winning period winning period is basically the period at which the mother is providing to to his child or her child uh, a special type of diet except or other than the uh, formula milk or the milk we given the breast milk we either the breast milk or formula milk is not given to the child except these two other foods are given to the child and they are tried to giving the child uh, they are tried to giving the food this child and during the period of six month approx after the delivery so that period of time is called as the winning period now we can see the child is developing vomiting feeding difficulties failure to thrive convulsions same as coma or convulsions because of hypoglycemic condition and the liver failure same as the glucose 1 phosphate will be the higher toxic here is the uh, which one we can see fructose 1 phosphate will be higher toxic it leads to the hepatomegaly and then liver failure and then jaundice will be developing same as here but here no cataract the previous one the galactose is after the galactose and phosphate is converting into a special type of substance that is galactocol and do we can see that is the galactocol and ducetol it leads to the development of the cataract while well drop cataract but here no any cataract is developed it is the important here no cataract no cataract in the case of fructose intolerance or the hereditary fructose intolerance now we are going to see what are the diagnosis of the fructose intolerance we can see the urine reducing substances are positive urine reducing substances are positive in the fructose one phosphate we can see benedict test is positive glucose oxidase test is negative because it is the specific test for the glucose and test for the ketosis test for ketosis is basically representing two tests that is the rapid for fural test is positive and the Silivanov's test they are the two tests are the positive in the case of ketosis and the enzyme study all I told you is similar in all the metabolic disorders and genetic mutation so these are the diagnostics of the hereditary fructose intolerance next we can see the treatment what is the treatment of it fructose free diet is given to the child so the fructose free child given to the child will be leads to the treatment for the dead child what is the essential fructose urea all i told you the essential fructose urea is developed due to the deficiency of fructokinase enzyme so we can see it is also benign condition not that much fatal for the life so it is benign condition normal condition we can see next one biochemical defect is here fructokinase enzyme deficient In next point we can see the renal threshold for the fructose is very low and that's why their excretion of fructose in the urine is appear that's why it is called as fructose urea fructose urea so this is all about the 
fructose metabolism and fructose associated disorders like the fructose urea or we can say like this the hereditary intolerance of the fructose disorders or the fructose intolerance hereditary fructose intolerance so these are the diseases associated with the fructose metabolism and these all are the disease what we discuss about the galactosemia or the galactose metabolism fructose metabolism glucose metabolism these all are associated with the carbohydrate metabolism we discuss everything in the biochemistry chapter so it's uh, all for now see you in next video thank you